ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله عن ابي هريره رضي الله عنه قال ان النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال بادروا بالأعمال فتنا كقطع الليل المظلم وفي حديث آخر قال بادروا في الأعمال سبعا هل تنتظرون إلا فقرا منسيا أو غنا مطغيا أو مرضا مفسدا كمل يا شيخ Look like you know. او مرضا مفسدا او موتا مجهزا او الدجال فشر غائب ينتظر او الساعة والساعة ادهى وامر Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم in this hadith is talking about this time the hour is drawing near al insan fi hadhihi al dunya ya'ish lil akhirah we live in this life for the hereafter that's the real life because the real life is to live in the hereafter in jannah that's why allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said وَإِنَّ الدَّارَ الْآخِرَةَ لَهِيَ الْحَيَوَانِ لَوْ كَانُوا يَعْلَمُونَ The hereafter is the real life if you only know. والمسلم الملتزم يسارع في الخيرات ويخلص في الأعمال. As a believer, you should compete and race for doing good all the time. And you should strive hard to be sincere. Sincere, everything you do is to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not people, and to expect the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not people. هذا هو الإخلاص. تعمل العمل وتكون على يقين بأن الأجر من الله سبحانه وتعالى والشكر من الله سبحانه وتعالى وليس من الناس. So, in this hadith, the Prophet ﷺ said, what are you waiting for? Why are you just sitting? Why can't you work? Are you waiting for poverty that makes you forget yourself? You're so busy trying to make a life or a living, and you have no time for reading, you have no time for salah, you have all that keeps you Busy is thinking, how am I going to make money and how am I going to live? Are you waiting for that? You shouldn't be. Or are you waiting for some time to be really rich that makes you exceed the limit, that makes you want to live this life and enjoy this life? You don't care about halal and haram. All you want is to increase that poverty because the real life, richness, the, the nature of the human being, richness makes people deviate with the exception of you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Kalla inna al insana la yatwa. Mata yatwa an ra'ahu stawna. When you become rich, you exceed the limits. That's the nature of the human being. So are you waiting for that? And of course, you're going to exceed the limits. You're going to run more for money. Why you're not at the prayer, brother? I'm busy. Where? Oh, I have a meeting. I have this and I have that. And then you die and you have nothing. So you don't want to wait for poverty. You don't want to wait for richness. Aw maradan. Mufsida, are you waiting for sickness that ruins you? Sickness that you would wish that you can make sujood? 
or sickness that you would wish that you can stand in a prayer or sickness that even makes you remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you're so busy about pain, you're so worried about healing, you're from one doctor to another, all that occupies your mind is when I'm going to be healed. You waiting for that? You don't want to be waiting for that because one of those things would happen. Or are you waiting for death? Attacking you? What's after that? Nothing. Or are you waiting for the gel? The gel, Shar Fitna Yuntada, the worst test ever to, to wait for. The gel would come and claim that he is God. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants him miracles that makes people believe in that but not believers because believers already know about him they know about his description they know when he's gonna uh, or where he's gonna be and what is he calling for uh, we already follow the sunnah we do all the things to protect us from him we read the first we memorize the tip first in ayat a piece of surat al kahf many people go to live in uh, mecca and medina and uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us all that protection. We, we make the dua at the end of every salah. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min adhab al-nar, min adhab al-qabr, min fitnat al-mahya wa al-mamat, min fitnat al-masih al-dajjal. So we seek refuge in him, we know him. But I, general people, you wait for that? I mean, you come and tell you I'm God. They say, oh, no, you're not. They said, you want something? Okay. I can turn this building to gold. Boom, it's gold. Yeah, gold, real gold. You can go and sell it in the stock market and get the money and get everything. It's real cash. He has the power. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him that power to test people, to purify those who are real believers and those who are fake believers. You waiting for that? You don't want to wait for that. How about the hour, the day of judgment? This is worse than all of what I have mentioned. Conclusion, get to work. Get to work. Don't wait until something comes that prevents you from doing what you want to do. Compete for good, be sincere, and always expect death. And when you know all of this, you're always strong, and inshallah, you would adhere to the sunnah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa Jazakum Allahu khayran. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you and help you. Insha'Allah, fulfill pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Be on the straight path. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, فَلَا تَمُوتُنْ إِلَّا وَأَنْتُمْ مُسْلِمُونَ Don't die, but you are in the state of Islam. How do you do that? You don't know when you're going to die. That means continue on the straight path. Whenever death comes to you, don't worry about it. You're on the straight path, so you are a Muslim. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.